Hello everyone, welcome back to Compliance Monk and today we're diving into an important legislative update on proposed amendments in the Sexual Harassment at Workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal Act 2013 introduced in Rajya Sabha on the 2nd of February 2024. But before we proceed further, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more updates on important legal developments to Compliance Monk. First, a quick overview. One. The amendment bill seeks to make changes to the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Act 2013. 2. It aims to address various aspects related to the prevention, prohibition and redressal of sexual harassment in the workplace. So, what's new? The Amendment Act modifies Section 9 of the original Act, extending the complaint filing period from three months to a whole year from the date of the incident. It also introduces the ability to file a complaint within a year from the date of the last incident and the previous three-month limit on the inquiry process? That's been lifted. The Amendment Act also does away with Section 10 of the original Act which focused on a specific part of the redressal process. The reasons behind this move and its impact on the redressal mechanism are worth noting. So what does this all mean? The extended complaint filing period of one year from three months of last incident gives victims more time to come forward and removing the inquiry process time limit could lead to more thorough investigations. To wrap up, the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace, Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal Amendment Act of 2024 has taken a significant step forward in addressing workplace sexual harassment. It's important for everyone, especially organizations, to understand and adhere to these changes. That's it for today's video. If you found this informative, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and share this with others. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more legal updates. Until next time, stay safe and informed.